Hi, this is Rob with Precision Zone, and AC servo motors come in all shapes and sizes. Most factory automation and factory machining systems have servo motors that are equipped with holding brakes. We normally think of cars when we talk about brakes. The brakes stop us from going forward or reverse, but that's not how they work in machines. If an axis has a servo motor with the holding brake, that brake does not hold the axis while the machine is powered on. Electrical current coming from the drive is what is holding the axis from drifting. The only time the holding brake should be holding the axis is when the machine is powered off or if the e-stop is pushed in. Now there are two basic ways that power can be supplied to a holding brake. One is through a standalone connector or it could be integrated into a power connector. Brakes are made up of four major components, an electromagnetic coil, springs, a friction pad, and two metal discs. Now spring pressure is what holds the plates against the friction pad, and when power is applied to the coil, it gets energized and one of the metal plates get pulled toward the coil, compressing the springs. At that point, the brake releases and the motor is able to spin. Now if a brake is too tight, this could cause an overcurrent alarm, or if a brake is too loose, this could cause the axis to drop and hit the table. Now here at Precision Zone, we make sure that every brake is adjusted properly, not too tight or too loose, and it has the holding correct torque. For more about AC holding brakes or any of the products we offer or provide, please contact us at precisionzone.com. Thanks for watching.